When Chris came in and said something about a 3D printed home, I stopped. <laughs> and I was trying to think, like, because I never heard of it before. Those conversations uh, were hot and cold at first. She's like, Chris, you're putting me in a concrete box. It was a different concept for her. So, because I was like, oh, do I get to hang up pictures, you know, with concrete? And he was like, sure. You'll have windows, it's not a bomb shelter. Okay, you feel good that, you know, you'll yes. be comfortable. Oh, yeah. I'm we get sure. over 200 applications a year. April, known about our program, and she just knew that it took a lot to get through the program. April is an extremely hardworking person. She has her job at the resort, uh, which is hard enough in itself. And then she has an additional job and raising a child. I don't know how she does it. And that was one of my biggest concerns with the project. All of our homeowners, they have to do 300 hours of sweat equity, which is like volunteer hours. So she'll be working on her house and other houses in the community. It's 100 hours of construction and then 200 hours for the restore. April will do work from putting up the interior walls, painting, landscaping, so they can, you know, tell their family, like, I helped put these walls up. Like, I helped build this house. 